Hello, this is Ozanzun from Lab Services Turkey, and today I have two IBM machines. One is a 22 LC and brand new from Wistron with G dual GPUs and a, a standard Power 8 A22. Okay, let's check the front end first. You can see that this model ha has 12 disk slots and let's take this out you see it's it's quite different we have just two disks and one USB port and one power on button here no CD-ROM or DVD-ROM and nothing and this guy has also no RAID card so you either boot from SAN or you do soft RAID or AVM mirroring whatever suits you so this guy has a also a standard LED LCD screen which we like we have a DVD ROM and we have also two USB 3 ports let's check what is inside let's begin with this guy you see we have 12 discs on this machine and it's a split backplane machine the people which are used to the power machines know that so we have two RAID cards and half of the discs are managed by one of these RAID cards and the rest are managed by this RAID card which is quite good so we can install the virtual servers to ensure redundancy you see these memories are the big ones with L4 cache uh, let's take one out now one hand you see these are unique RAMs for power 8 servers only with this special L4 caches and you see they are quite big and I think they are expensive too. Uh, the, uh, first, let's check these guys. You know, they are like the industry standard ECC RAMs, which can also be found for, on the X86 world. You see, they are low profile. Just, just to compare the differences. So, you see, how big a regular Power 8 RAM is. And also with this buffer RAM. So, this CPU heat sinks are similar. I think they are they are the same. They might be the same. This this server has four no, three PCI slots, and this guy have more than many. And one big difference here is the power supplies. This server consumes lots of power but instead of <laughs> redundant they have like this single power supplies and this is a regular power 8 power supply let you see here so what is different in the back it's the real surprise is here you see we have a VGA port which is something we don't see on power machines regularly you see we have one BMT port and the other one is called uh, Ethernet 1 actually it's Ethernet 1 in the uh, red book but it has a strange name like EMP46 something like that a complex name we have a USB 3 port here so this guy can be used as, as like can be compared to the HMC port of the Power 8 machine so we can do the connect with I over IPMI protocol or we can go to the web interface to reach the BMC interface so this is also the serial port that is usable when you need it so let's check the power rate all good power rate guy you see this has a flexible service processor wired to these two HMC ports and 
the serial port on power 8s are different you need a, a new modern cable and actually you need a serial attached to that so you need a USB to serial converter too we have two USB 3 ports here and the redundant power supplies and lots of TCI slots so let's see what this guy have here let's see you see this is a, like a cool cooling chamber here and you will see why you need that Ooh. you see the copper big copper it think it's actually it's bigger than the CPU it think because we have the Tesla NVIDIA GPU here this server can have four GPUs installed but this this is just this machine here two GPUs on it you see you see why we can we can't have lots of PCI slots because the GPUs are taking all that space still here 